The group chat is spamming. It's literally 3 in the morning. I will just go check it out. Mel, we are so sorry. Hey guys. Shut up. What's happening? I said shut up. Mel doesn't have a lot of time left with us. Why? She's getting grounded for a very long time. Yeah. What did you do? That's not something you should be worrying about. I knew we shouldn't have told you. Oh, I'm sorry. Good, because that was your fault. Clarissa, what's your problem? She just asked a question. Well, that question was unnecessary. Guys, please stop arguing. All right. I just wanted to say my goodbyes to you guys. I am so sad you are leaving. Shut up for once and stop interrupting her. She does not have a lot of time. What's up with her? I hope to maybe see you guys one day. I gotta hop off now because my parents don't know I am on my phone. But don't forget about me, guys. Bye. She would have had a lot of time to talk to us if you didn't have to open your mouth. I was confused what was going on. Don't care. You shouldn't have even joined in the first place. I will just hop off. Good. What is up with you? What do you mean? What's up with you being rude towards Cam? She was acting like a stupid pick-me. A pick-me? You gotta be kidding me. You were acting like a pick-me the whole time. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were acting like a fake friend. All I told her that she should just shut up. Really? Because you also said she shouldn't have even joined in the first place. I am just gonna leave. It's too late to be arguing. Next morning. That night was very bad. Maybe everyone was just in a bad mood. Since it was like 3, I will just go to the GC. She joins the GC. Hey guys, who's this? None of your business. That's Clarissa's boyfriend. Hi, nice to meet you. Babe, don't say hi to that ugly thing. Ugly, isn't that your friend? Uh, yes, but we call each other names. Ah, okay. Hey Cam, we were just about to play Roblox. Do you want to play with us? Sure. Actually you can't. It's three person. Player Obby. We can just find another game. Babe, don't flirt with her. What? We playing the game that I chose. But how come she can't play? Well, she should have joined earlier. What do you mean by that? Well, she should have joined earlier. We can just pick a different game since she joined. Babe, don't give her sympathy. You just met her. Okay, so it doesn't mean I can't be nice to her. If you want to be nice to her, then date her. Have you lost your mind? How does me being nice to her mean that I want to date her? Because it just does. Well, we either all play or I am not gonna play. No, it's okay. You guys can play without me. She even said it herself. So let's play it. No. no. Fine, okay. What about work at pizza place? Cam, do you want to play that? Why are you treating her like she's your girlfriend? Clarissa, chill. We can play that if you guys want to. Okay. All right. Clarissa, are you going to say something? If that's what you losers want to play. Girl, you literally suggested it. Okay, join me guys. They play for two hours. That was so fun. I was such a great manager. You literally kept firing me. You weren't doing what you were supposed to. I was, and you were there watching me make the pizzas. Okay. Lol. That was very fun, except Clarissa, you weren't a great boss. Babe, stop citing. Clarissa, are you jealous? Yes, because she's trying to steal my man. No, I am not. Clarissa, how you say she's your friend yet treat her like this? If she has a problem with it, she can tell me. Like I said, babe, stop siding with her. I really don't understand you. And Cam, stop trying to steal my boyfriend. But I am not. I don't understand why you hate me so much. Shut up. Like, just shut up. Clarissa, if you want to be my girlfriend, then treat your friends right. Just go date her so badly then. Girl, what is your problem? I don't know, but all of you guys got problems. Girl, you're the main one with a problem. Oh wow, Leslie, my best friend's siding with a snake girl. Girl, you just said Cam was your friend, then call her a snake. Okay, lol. She's acting like one. She's barely talked in the GC, so what do you mean? Okay, don't care. If Mel was here, she would have agreed with me. No, she wouldn't. You're like a mad woman. I wouldn't be mad if you guys would just stop siding with her. Clarissa, you either say sorry, or we're breaking up. Okay, Cam private chat. Okay. So, um, what did you want to talk about? Okay, first of all, I am not gonna say sorry, so don't expect that. Oh, okay. 
but you're gonna pretend I said sorry. Okay. Also, stop trying to steal my boyfriend. He's not yours. The thing is you keep accusing me of doing that, but I am not doing that. Okay, then question. Do you like my boyfriend? Not the way you're thinking. I don't care. Do you like him? No. Then why are you trying to steal him? I am not. Oh, really? Because he always sides with you. But that's because he wants to. And that's why it's your fault. But I don't understand. You don't need to, but I want you to be rude to me, so it doesn't look like I am the bad guy. Or he will break up with me, and you don't want that. Do you want that? No, but what do I get in return? Nothing, you are just gonna do it, so he won't break up with me. And maybe if you play your part well, I will give you some Robux. Okay. Cam has left the chat room. How rude she left. So Cam, did she say sorry? Yes, she did. You're not lying, right? Babe, she's not lying. I did say sorry. Okay, just checking. Do you guys want to play something? No, shut up. Cam? Babe, she's being mean to me. Cam, why did you say that? Because your girlfriend is an ugly looking cockroach. Babe, see? Yeah, I do see. I ain't blind. Cam, what's that mean to you? What do you mean, Leslie? My plan is working. She doesn't know. But the final stage will be for her to get kicked out. Cam? Yes, what? Why are you acting like this? Clarissa, you are not forcing her to do this, right? Babe, what do you mean? Oh, it's just the fact after she finished talking to you, she starts acting like this. No, it's not because of that. It's just that Clarissa is just an ugly person with an ugly personality. What's wrong with you? I thought you were a nice girl. Turns out Clarissa was right. Why did I do this? Now I am the bad guy. Babe, 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 babe. Clarissa, shut up for once. But why don't you see I am getting bullied? Yes, I do see. We all see. Clarissa, you are an ugly little pick-me. Cam, are you okay? Stop acting like a bully. Don't care. No, actually stop. I won't. You're making me cry. I can use this to say whatever I want about her. Clarissa, I really don't care if you're gonna cry. Cam, stop. Shut up. Your girlfriend is a no good girl. She's a crappy girl to be exact. I wonder if she's being for real. She's a whole red flag. You could honestly find someone better. I don't care. Well, you should. She's probably just using you. You're just like every other blonde. Is that supposed to offend me? I could care less. You're getting kicked out of the GC. Oh, wow. Oh, that was your motive. Clarissa, what is she talking about? Oh, nothing. She's just Miss Clueless. I'm Clueless? You literally used me and treated me like I was a pet. Cam has been mm. kicked out. Gosh, I really didn't know what she was saying. Um, hum, yeah. Do you not believe me? Did I say that I didn't? I will just hop off. Same. Oh, wow. You guys gonna do something without me? Yes. We actually are. Max left the chat. Fake friend. I was being sarcastic. Meanwhile with Cam. I really let her walk over me. Oh, wait. Mel is online. I thought she was grounded. I will go text her. Mel, Mel. Mel. Yeah. Hey. I thought you were grounded? I was. But turns out my brother had blamed me. So now he's grounded. How are the others? Clarissa kicked me out the GC. What? Why? Apparently she used me. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Clarissa ever since last night acted much ruder than she usually does to me. Explain everything. Oh wow. So you're telling me she is acting like a little pick me. Yeah, and I don't know why she hates me so much. Clarissa has told me why she doesn't like you. Why? Well, so she told me she felt like you were stealing Leslie when you joined the group. Leslie was the one that introduced me to the group and was my first friend in the group. That's what I told her, but Clarissa is very hot-headed. She said you gave off bad vibes. Me bad vibes? I knew that girl was a psycho, but I didn't think she was that weird. Well, she's that weird. Add Leslie to this because I got a plan. I don't know because she's probably mad at me. Don't worry, it's Clarissa we're talking about. She was the one that sets you up. Now it's time for that Miss Girl to get humbled. Alright, I will add Leslie. Cam has added Leslie. Mel? Yeah, that's me, but don't ask why I am back. Okay, why are you hanging out with Cam? Clarissa had set me up. What do you mean? She explains. Oh wow, I knew something was off. That girl can be a snake when there's something she wants. An hour ago, she accused me of being a fake friend because me and her boyfriend left at the same time. So when did she get this boyfriend? 
We actually don't know. She told us the day you left. Yeah. What's his name? His name is Max. Why? Oh wow. So she's gonna date my ex. What do you mean ex? Well, yes, he's my ex. I had to break up with him because of the grounding thing. Because I didn't think he would stay loyal and I was right. He's literally dating Clarissa. And I feel like he was dating her while I was dating him. And I only told Clarissa about my boyfriend. And now she's with him. That girl, that girl always causing problems. No, because she's the main problem. But why did her boyfriend side with me? If I am not wrong, he was most likely treating you right, because Clarissa had maybe done something to him. And so I know when I see her, it's on sight. Leslie add come back to the GC, then come add me. We are going to expose her. That should be fun this time. I wouldn't let her walk over me. All right, let's do this. Guys, guys. Guys? Anyone there? Yeah. Hey. Did you come back to apologize? Yes, and I also got a surprise for you. Leslie has added Cam. Hey guys, you miss me? What? Leslie, why did you at her back? Clarissa, by the way, everything will come back to you. Yeah, no, you're getting kicked out again. Cam has added Mel. Hey Clarissa, and hey Max. I just got a few things to say. Let's get down to business. No, we will be not. Clarissa, shut up. No, because... I said shut up. We're tired of you like actually. So like I was going to say. Max, why are you dating Clarissa? No, stop. I won't let you ruin for what I worked so hard for. Worked hard? You literally destroy people's lives. Okay, and? That's why you're getting kicked out. Clarissa has been kicked out. So Max, explain why are you with her? Clarissa had blackmailed me. She said that she will tell you that she saw me cheating. So I agreed. So I told her if I could break up with you. She said no, because she didn't want you to be broken so fast. Why didn't you not tell me? Because Clarissa would go up to you and say that I was trying to be with her instead of her wanting to be with me. Clarissa had also said that I was the only one that could cure her sadness. The day you left, Clarissa had told me before that you were gonna leave me. For what? She said for another man and she was right. Then you told me about the grounding. But you never told me about the man. She said you were gonna tell me. That's because there was no man. My parents hadn't grounded me because my brother had blamed me. Clarissa really had you there, Max. She really had. So since Mel left, you could have had the chance to break up with her. Yeah, so why didn't you? I wanted her to break up with me first. Because if I did it knowing Clarissa, she would have pulled something. That's why I was being rude to her and being nice to you because she would get jealous over those type of stuff. Clarissa is equally equal to a red flag. We have to make her pay. Yes, indeed. I got a plan for it. I am gonna break up with her. Is that it? No, but Mel, if you want to, we can pretend we got back together to make her even more mad. I like that idea. You guys have to make her really jealous. Bet, let's just see how much she can handle it. Yeah, I will let her now. Clarissa has been added. So you guys added me. So you can gang up on me. Correct. Shut up. Clarissa. Yes, Max. Are they forcing you to do this? We can leave when we still have a chance. No, I just wanted to say I want to break up with you. No, not after everything we've been through. I won't allow it. Girl, he don't even like you. Give it a break. Clarissa, I am leaving you to be with Mel. What? Mel? You backstabbing. Traitor. The only traitor here is you. You literally blackmailed my boyfriend and used him for your little game. Clarissa, we are done. Ha 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 ha. But Max, without you I will be sad. And without you I can finally be happy. Clarissa, I really thought you were cool, but no dated my boyfriend behind my back, then lied to him. Well, because I could treat him better. Better? He wasn't even happy with you. Leslie, now you're siding with them. What happened to being my best friend? And I thought we were all friends, but you dated behind her back. Okay, so? He was miserable with her. Now you pushing it. Clarissa, you were a trash girlfriend. This is all Cam's fault. If she wasn't being a pick-me, none of this will happen. Well, I am glad it did. Shut up. Clarissa, everything that happened was your fault because of your selfish games. You never even thought about us friends. Yes, I did. I thought about Leslie as a friend. But yet acted jealous the other day, um hum, yeah. You guys were gonna do something behind my back? No, we weren't, you are just a jealous insecure girl. Max, I still love you. 
Wake up to reality. I never liked you and never will. Clarissa, say your last words because it's over. I hate you all. Clarissa has been kicked out the GC. What was she gonna say? Mel, do you want to get back together? Yeah. OMG, yes, yes, yes. Oh, so cute. Do you think your brother's dead? Mum. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm just really scared. Relax, Mum. Eli runs away all the time. Never for this long. I'm sure he's fine, Mum. If we don't hear from him in one hour, I am calling the police. Mum, do not call the police. Honey, what if your brother is hurt? Or someone took him? Mum, don't say that. Do you think it's my fault? I know it's been hard recently. Maybe if we had more money. Mum, this isn't your fault. You sacrificed so much for us. I just love you boys so much. Please try and find your brother, or else I am calling the police. Okay, okay, Mum. OMG, someone is at the door. Maybe that is Eli. Yeah. Yeah. Mum is freaking out. She's gonna call the police. For real. She can't do that. You should just text her, so at least she stops worrying. No, we can't. Why? Because if I get caught, and the cops can prove Mum knew, she could lose everything. Get caught? Eli, just come home. Come on, aren't you tired of this of watching Mum work to jobs of living in this one? Bedroom hole of picking between rent and food. Of course. Why do some guys have everything, and we're left with nothing? I just want to even it out a little. What do you mean? We are gonna steal with him sort, none from a man named Roman Petra. Who? He's a billionaire oil tycoon. What? This money is a drop in the bucket. Have you thought this through? This guy is probably dangerous. I'm sure he has specific people whose only job is to track down and kill anyone who steals from him. I know. So instead of stealing from him, we are stealing from his daughter. What? Petrov has a daughter in college. Three towns over from us a week ago we matched on Tinder. And one night ago, I slept with her. How? She has some weird weird fetishes, likes being tied up and stuff. So I just played along. Law. What? Check this out. Are you kidnapping her? No, just listen. We only have a little time now, and we need to move quickly before mom calls the police. We? Her bank account is linked to her dad's. It has Wisin Sut. Null in it. I'm gonna transfer it into her account. How? That's where you come in. I put your number in her phone under the name Bank of America. Why my number? Because she texts with me she doesn't have your number. Fine. In order to get into her account and transfer the money, I need to reset her password. Okay. I will need answers to the questions. What street did you grow up on? What was her favorite food as a kid? Got it. So we won't have a lot of time. Once I try to reset the password, you need to text her pretending to be the bank and ask for her security questions. This is crazy, Eli. You will only have a minute before the bank mails her dead and he locks the account. Okay. You ready? We're doing this now? Yeah. Here's her number. Remember, we're doing this for mom. Hello, Laura Petrov. This is Bank of America. Your account has been locked due to suspicious activity. In order to unlock your account, please answer a couple security questions. Reply yes to begin. Yes. What street did you grow up on? Capri Drive. What was your favorite food as a child? Mac and cheese. Your account has been unlocked. Thank you for using Bank of America. Capri Drive. Mac and cheese. You did it? It worked. Holy crap, dude. We did it. Text mom. Tell her I'm okay. You coming home now? Yeah, in a little. Gonna hook up with Laura once more. Lol. Why? Just come home. Hello. This is Roman Petrov. I have your mother. Choose your next move carefully. Hold on. Please don't hurt her. Do you love your mother? We will return the money. Right now. I promise. Oh, you foolish boy. $800,000 is nothing to me. But I can't have people thinking. They can just steal from me. And there won't be consequences. That would be bad for business. Then what do you want? I want you to know. You traded your mother's life for a measly $800,000. No, please, please don't kill her. Say goodbye to your mother. Wait, I wouldn't do that. Or you will lose more than $800,000. We have your daughter kidnapped. Laura, let her go. I will kill you. Here's what we are going to do. We will keep the money, but we will release Laura and you will release our mother. Fine, but don't think this is over. I don't lose. What did mom say? Head to the airport as soon as possible. Oh, family vacation. Son, it's getting late. Why aren't you home? Good evening. Please listen very carefully. Your son has been kidnapped. 
He is safe and unharmed. We do not want to hurt him. We just need some information. Is this a joke? This isn't funny, son. Your mother and I are worried. This is not a joke. You've already lost your daughter. Don't lose your son tonight. Please do as we say. Son, you are so grounded. Come home right now. Please, sir. I recommend you cooperate. We have very simple demands. Seriously, son, please stop this. You are scaring me. Your son is fine, and he will continue to be fine if you follow our instructions. This is your last chance. Then I am calling the police. If you call the police, your family will find out about the incident at South St. Bar in July of 2023. Okay, okay, no cops. Who is this? How do you know about that? Who this is does not matter. All that matters is what you say next. That will determine the fate of your son's life. Do not hurt him. Please just let him go. He has nothing to do with this. If you want us to let him go, then answer our question. Okay. What do you want? We want the truth. What happened that night? The night of July 18th, 2023. The night my daughter went missing? Yes. I was just at home all night. God damn it. We warned you. Tell the truth. I am. You can ask the police. Should we start removing fingers? Then will you start being honest? No, please. Start telling the truth. This is your last chance. Okay. The night of July 18th? Yes. I went to the South St. Bar, but I was only there for 15 minutes. Why were you there? To settle a gambling debt. And what happened? I settled the debt. How? Who is this? What do you want? Answer the question. How did you settle the debt? I gave them $800,000. Say goodbye to your son. Wait. Stop lying. Okay, okay. This is your last warning. Tell U.S. the truth. How did you settle the debt? Please don't hurt him. I beg you. He is all I have left. Answer the question. I won't ask again. I didn't have the money. So I gave them my daughter as collateral until I could find the money. Now will you release my son? Please. What is your father saying? You were right. Oh, God. He sold her away, but she might be still alive. Oh, dear Lord, I can't breath. Mom. My whole body is shaking. Mom, you need to be strong. This isn't over. Where is dad? In the backyard. Okay, you need to remain calm. He can't know you now. Take deep breaths when he goes to the basement. Lock the door and come outside. Okay. I told you everything. Your son is tied up in your basement. He's not down here. Where is he? Hello, Dad. Son? It's been me the whole time. Oh, no. You make me sick. Son, please. I can explain everything. How could you? That was my sister, your daughter. Let me explain. Explain it to the police. Goodbye, Dad. Honey, I'm outside your school. Sorry I was so late. It's really dark. I'm already on my way home. Oh, you got a ride? You sent an Uber for me. No, I didn't. Mom, I'm in the Uber now. Honey, I didn't call an Uber. Hold on. We aren't going the right way. This isn't near our house. Get out of the car. It's fine. He says he knows you. What? The driver says he's an old friend. An old friend? Who is it? Honey, what's the driver's name? Bernie. Get out of the car. What? Get out. I can't. The doors are locked. Ask him to pull over. He won't pull over. He says it's not safe for boys to be out in the dark alone. Do whatever you can. Break a window. Get out, get out. Mom, what's going on? You're making me scared. In calling the police, keep your phone on. What? Mom? Can you recognize anything? Maybe a street name? I can't see anything, Mom. We are on some dirt road, 20 minutes outside of town. It's so dark. Just stay calm, honey. Tell Bernie if he needs money. I can get him money. He doesn't want money. He says you ruined his life, and now he's going to ruin us. What is he talking about? Nothing, honey. He wants you to tell me, or he is going to hurt me. Okay, okay, okay. When I was in high school, his sister and I were friends. We were at a party together. I was supposed to take her home, but she wanted to stay so I left. The next day she was found dead, and Bernie still blames it on me, but it wasn't my fault. Mom, the car just stopped. Mom, he's getting out. Don't let him touch you. Fight as hard as you can. Yell as loud as you can. 
Mom, help me. He's coming around to the door. OMG, he's coming in. No, honey. Hello, old friend. Bernie? I told you this day would come. Don't touch him, Bernie. Please, Bernie. Ha ha ha. It all comes full circle. What? You left my sister in the dark. Now, Pitnatsic, years later, you leave your son in the dark. No, please. He's all I have. That's not true. He's all you had. Ben, please come help. Something really bad happened. What's going on? He is barely breathing. I think he might die. Who? Bring your first aid kit. And hurry. Where are you? 1705 Oceanic Avenue. On my way. Ben, I'm really scared. There is so much blood. Can you tell me what happened? I don't know. Jake's parents were out of town. So he invited me over. You're still dating Jake? I don't know, kind of. We have kept it a secret. Are you crazy? After he cheated on you. Don't judge me right now. I'm sorry, you're right. Tell me what happened. When I got here, I found Jake on the ground, barely awake and covered in blood. What? Did someone stab him? I don't think so. I can't find a wound. Why didn't you call the police? I wanted to, but before he passed out, he said, don't call the cops. The cops will think I did it. What? Why would he say that? I don't know. I think the intruder told him that. You should get out of there. Wait, I hear someone downstairs. Are you here? No, I'm five minutes away. Don't go downstairs. Why? It sounds like someone is hurt. What if the killer is still there? I'm gonna go check. Olivia, be careful. <laughs> Olivia, you there? Call the cops. Call them now. What? Why? Jake's parents aren't out of town. They are dead. Get out of the house. Okay, but I need to get Jake. Leave Jake. No, he will die. I'm going to get him. Olivia. Jake is gone. I can't find him. I thought he was passed out. He was, but he's not here anymore. Olivia. I hear him downstairs. Don't go down there. Go hide right now. Why? I think Jake was faking it. What? You said he wasn't stabbed. What if all the blood on him was from his parents? Jake killed them? I don't know but go hide. Olivia, go hide. I hear him looking for me. Where are you? I'm almost here. In the upstairs bathroom. He's yelling for me. What is he saying? I didn't kill my parents. Olivia, you need to save me. Don't leave the bathroom. He is banging on the door. I'm coming in. Tell him if he comes any closer, I'm going to kill him. He stopped. Ben, that worked. Stay in the bathroom. Please, man, don't hurt me. I didn't kill anyone. It was someone in a mask. He came into my house. You have to believe me. I know, Jake. It was me. What? I don't understand. I warned you. I said stay away from my sister. You did this. You cheated on my sister. I had to protect her from you. Why would you kill my parents? Because if I only killed you, then how would I frame you? Was that a gunshot? What is going on? Jake is dead. Oh my god. He was planning on killing you. He told me everything right before I shot him. Jake is dead. You are safe. That's all that matters.